Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well today we're going to do another catch and cook. And we'll be cooking those little spot tail porgies that I caught the other day. And let me tell y'all, this fish is excellent. It is a very underrated fish, a lot of people throw them away. They don't know if they're good or not. These things are awesome. So why don't you guys check out this clip of me catching some two really nice uh, spot tail porgies at the jetty, also known as a spot tail pinfish and the ringtail. But like I said, this is a very good fish, y'all. Let's watch this clip, and I'll see you guys at the cleaning table, and then I will see you guys in the kitchen. I think it's a sheephead. I don't know. This might be a big spot tail porgy. And it is. Oh man, that's a beautiful porgy. Spot tail porgy, spot tail pinfish. Awesome. Oh, that's a good one right there, guys. Whew. That is a delicious fish, y'all. Some people call them spot tail pinfish. Some people call them spot tail porgies. But they are absolutely outstanding. That is a delicious fish, guys. Awesome. Fish. Oh, that's a fighting fish right here. Come on, baby. Come on, I hope it's another sheephead. Another big spot tail porgy, and I will take it. Yes, I will. See a catch and cook spot tail pinfish, spot tail porgy coming in my future. These things are excellent eating, y'all. Not a highly targeted fish around here, but a great bycatch. All right guys, I'm at the cleaning table. And I got my spot tail pinfish, or spot tail porgies, whichever you prefer, or ringtails. A lot of people call them ringtails also. This is a really easy fish clean. I mean, your knife just glides through this stuff like butter. Go along the backbone like that. Like this. Stick your knife in halfway. Come down, come out, and stick your knife back in over here. Just come forward. Break those bones. And your fillet comes right off. Just like that. You get a really nice fillet. Same thing on the other side. Now, spot tail pinfish are not really targeted a whole lot over here, but they are an excellent, excellent fish to eat. It's a beautiful white meat. They're very mild. They don't taste much different than other porgy species, like the white bone or whatever. They are an excellent, excellent fish. There you go. I give a rinse. Skin really easy to come off. Take it through like this. Just like that. Cut your rib cage off. Just like that. Feel for some pin bones. Just like this. And that's a nice fillet. Rinse this off real quick. Put in my bucket, my bowl, my yellow bowl that everybody makes a comment on. Yes, this is an old Blockbuster video movie bowl. I've had this thing for years. They used to give them to you back in the day so you can put your popcorn in. And yes, I still have one. I love that thing. All right, we go to the next filet. Just like that, feel for the pin bones. 
There you go, guys. It's a finished product. And that is a tasty, tasty, tasty fish. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. I got my spot tail pinfish here. Really nice fillets. Set one right here. Just like this. So I got four nice spot tail porgy, pinfish, ringtail, whichever you like to call them, fillets. Now I'm going to mix up some ingredients and we're going to add to this. Alright guys, to my little mixing bowl right here, my little measuring cup, I'm going to add some rosio pesto sauce, some lemon juice, some minced garlic, and some olive oil. So I'm going to put this on first. I'm going to use probably half if not all of the uh, pesto sauce. I'm going to go ahead and use it all. A little trick you can do to get the rest of this stuff out is you got to use some lemon juice anyway. So just pour your lemon juice in here. But all we're going to use, not that much. Close this up, shake it up real good. You'll get all that goodness out of there, guys. At least most of it. And pour that in there. Now we're going to put some garlic. If I can get it open. And put one good spoonful like that and we're just going to add some olive oil about like that we'll mix all this together so it looks about like that we're just going to pour it on our fish. I had tried this the other night. Same style I'm doing this, but with the green pesto. I tried it on some fish, and it was excellent. So I'm assuming and hoping that this red pesto it's going to be about the same. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to put some Parmesan Romano cheese on top. I love Parmesan cheese and, and fish. I don't know what it is. The taste just really goes together. And I think it's absolutely excellent. And then we're just going to cover this with some tin foil. And we're going to put it in a... 350 degree oven for about 20 25 minutes. All right, guys, it's out of the oven. Ooh, it's hot. Oh man, look at that. That looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna plate this up real quick and we'll go give it a try. And I'm gonna get one for summer. Man, look at that, guys. That looks awesome. Awesome. Come on, give me one. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. Well, I got my uh, spot tail porgy or spot tail pinfish or ringtail, whichever you like to call them. They've been called all kinds of names, but this fish is excellent. So we're going to try a piece right now with that pesto style. That's what it looks like, guys. All right, here we go. It's hot. Whoo! Boy, that's good. Bam! 
Holy moly. All right, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Okay, I mean, I love eating this fish fry, but I've never tried this Rosio uh, pesto sauce before. Holy moly. Man, that is good. Really good. Y'all need to try these sauces when you're in the grocery store. You'll see some different sauces. They think, hey, they might be good. Give them a shot. Don't be afraid because you might be missing out on something. And definitely with this uh, spot tail pinfish or spot tail porgy, if you catch one, give it a shot. It is excellent. It is not a trash fish by any means. It's a very underrated fish. It's not really targeted. It's a bycatch and most people throw away. But it's awesome. It's an excellent tasting fish. It's every bit as good as any porgy out there, any snapper out there, sheephead. It's amazing. So give it a shot, y'all. Man, that's good. Well, guys, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing to this channel. You guys are awesome. I think you guys are absolutely amazing. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. Well, guys, I get to see you again soon here on the water. Tie lines, y'all. Give this fish a try. It's really good, guys. Oh.